Right, hello everybody. Um, I'm Sabrina and I'm going to walk you through a little bit about emotions um, and how to use... Right, hello everybody. Um, oh, I'm Sabrina sorry. and I'm going to... I managed to stop that, does it, every time, I, even though I switched it off, so I apologise. Um, right, so um, I was going to do you a little PowerPoint, but I've decided that actually a little bit of just free talk and understanding is probably going to be a better option for you and... Um, it kind of will take some time away and just give you some real nitty gritty of what you actually need to know. So I'm just going to make sure. Hello, everybody. Right, there you go. So I've got that on my phone. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free, pop them into um, the chat underneath and I will grab them as soon as I can. They are, I'm watching live at the same time. Right, so emotions. I mean, this is quite, this can be a very large topic. As you can imagine, we all have different emotions. Um, we have lots of different oils that you can use. And I'm not, it would be easy. I could just sit here and list you a million oils. Um, but what we're going to do is talk about why oils work for emotions on top of some simple solutions to do for you. Okay. So when it comes down to oils, um, Wendy spoke a couple of days ago about some ways to use them. And one of the top ways to use oils for emotions is aromatically. And that is because um, it takes 20 seconds to reach one cell, 20 minutes to reach every cell in our body, topically. But aromatically, it happens within seconds to all of our body. So um, hopefully this will, I'm going to, if you have got um, an oil near you, feel free to pick one up. I'm going to just do a little bit of gentle breathing to show you an easy way that we can change our mindset. So what we do is we, when we take a deep breath, it goes in through our nose, up through um, our um, olfactory bulb into our olfactory system, goes up our brain into the limbic system and our limbic system tells us what to do. Now, our brain has really good muscle memory. So what that means is if you have a smell or a memory that your body associates with making you happy, then that when you smell it again, you, or your brain automatically goes, oh, that makes me happy. So for me, like lemon and citruses always make me think of my nan. And that's because growing up, she used to make a lot of cakes um, and things like that. And automatically, it's not even that she used to make lots of lemon cakes. It just automatically makes me think of my nan, which then takes me to a really happy place. Um, my nan's no longer with us and it can make me feel quite sad. But actually, when I think of that, it, it makes me think of a happy place. Um, so. What you want to do is take your oil. Um, this is called a wild orange experience, but you can also do it with peppermint as well. We can do it with any oil, but it's really, really good, um, particularly for new people if you've not experienced oils. Take a little um, sniff, and then we're going to put a drop on our hands. Okay, so again, pick any oil you like. Try not to pick an oil that's a hot oil that wouldn't be suitable, but something citrus or minty would be lovely. So we're going to rub it into our hands, and then you're going to take some nice deep breaths. And within seconds, you can get your brain telling your, your body and the rest of you, be happy. That's something we want to change our mindset. Now, some breathing you can do is square breathing. So you can breathe in for four or five seconds. You can hold it for four or five seconds. You can breathe out. And then you can hold again. And then start the process again. That's called square breathing. You can do it with children. You can do it around your fingers and you can breathe in, hold, down, hold. And it's quite a nice little way. It's called square breathing. Or another breathing I like is sip breath. And that's because it really makes you focus on your breathing. So when you breathe in, you breathe in, get right to the top and then go. And you just take that extra sip and it really just fills that lung capacity up. OK, um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, so that is one way you can aromatically and you can do that very simply anywhere, anywhere you are. Now, obviously, you don't have to put it on your hands. You can just breathe from a bottle. You could breathe from a roller. Um, you can do it quite discreetly. You can go into a bathroom. There is absolutely multiple times during the day that you could do that and be able to help your own mindset very quickly okay i do this at work i do it with my crewmates i do it anywhere i can go we do it with the children particularly wild orange um we do that um to help concentration as well um 
and it can really just clear the mind. And I also do meditative breathing before sleep. Um, so it's just a good way of telling your brain what you want to do. OK, so that is just some simple, easy things you can do for emotions. You can also have diffusers running. I do recommend diffusers all the time. Keep those diffusers running. Um, I love diffusers in um, in the home because obviously they're completely natural using doTERRA oils and you can change. Someone walks into your home, they're automatically happy. They can smell and they're like, oh my gosh, it smells amazing in here. Um, and automatically you're making people feel comfortable and welcomed. Um, but for you, um, obviously we use diffusers for a lot of things, but one of the main things will be that mood management. So I want to talk about some specific oils to use to help you with um mood so um it can be all forms of different emotion and um, there is plenty of books out there for example these are just some books that i've got from these are from essential oil supplies so we have anxiety emotions depression and the essential emotions um there's many different books that you can use and if anybody if you need some ideas or you you know you want to come and look at a book again feel free there is so much information in these um but i want to just talk just kind of look straight for you for emotional aromatherapy this is a slightly newer one um i do have um these ones i do have available which i give out for gifts in my team um they do get these um they're the slightly older version um, so, for example, in here, you can go to like wild orange. So I was just using wild orange. So let's use wild orange. And it will tell you the emotional level of wild orange of why and what it does. OK, so I'm not going to obviously I could sit here and read through mountains of books, but I will read a little bit to you from wild orange. So wild orange addresses a wide variety of emotional issues. It inspires abundance, fosters creativity and supports a positive mood. Wild orange also reconnects individuals with their inner child and brings spontaneity, fun, joy and playfulness into one's life. At its core, wild orange teaches us the true meaning of abundance. It encourages individuals to let go of scarcity mindset with all of its manifestations, including fear, nervousness, inflexibility, workaholism, lack of humor, and the belief that there is not enough. Wild orange reminds the soul of the limitless supply found in nature. Fruit trees like the orange tree give freely to all in need. This oil teaches individuals to give without thought of, comp of compensation. In nature, there is always enough to go round. Wild orange encourages, encourages individuals to let go of their need to hoard with the um, epitome of scarcity. So that is just for example some of the little things what you can do with wild orange um and just tells you a little bit about the emotional level um what i do love is if you're not sure what emotions they have these emotion wheels okay so again if you need some help um you can message us and we'll tell you what's on the emotion wheel these you can pick up quite easily um again these were from essential oil supplies but you can get them online so this is so if you were looking at negative emotions so the best thing is to do is to really look at what emotion you are really feeling so break it right down so am i feeling let's see if i can find um so lack of confidence. So is that the feeling I'm feeling? Lack of confidence. It's something that I actually lack quite a lot. I have a lot of self-doubt. I am definitely lacking confidence and I am really, really tough on myself. So for lack of confidence, it suggests passion. Passion is one of our emotion range, which I will cut into in a minute. Um, but it would suggest passion would be the oil for me. Worthlessness would be smart and sassy. Self-judgment would be bergamot, um, body judgment, grapefruit. Well, that's good to know because grapefruit actually helps us lose weight on top of it. So brilliant, the fact that it's good for body judgment. Um, but it kind of breaks it down into individuals and it also breaks it down into control, insecurity, purposeless, sadness, constricted, overwhelmed, unsafe, fear, anger, wounded, numb, confusion. Um, so some of those other ones that you might be looking for, for example, stressed most of us feel stressed at some point, then a good oil would be serenity. Um, fatigued, a good oil is basil. Um, overworked, tangerine. So again, in those citrus ones that are coming out, um, let's try and give you some others. So some in fear. So anxious would be peace. Um, terrified, juniper berry. Um, we've also got anger. So angry is cardamom rest um resentful sorry as time just trying to find you just a few to have a look at confused is clary sage um 
pained deep blue. We have unforgiving forgive. So just to give you uh, um, hiding is lavender. So just to give you an example that there is no one oil that is going to do everything. OK, there's no one oil that's perfect for everybody. It might be that I like certain smells and you like different smells. So that's really important to remember as well. When it comes down to emotions, you don't have to go, oh, well, I haven't got an emotional oil, so I can't do anything about my emotions. That is completely wrong. OK, so if you look at the oils you've got, open the caps, close your eyes, have a smell of the oils that you started with. And you might find that a really random oil draws you to it, like you're drawn to it. And that is because it's what your body needs. Um, so it's really important to know that there's you can't go wrong. There's nothing that you can smell that is bad for you in that sense. So have a go. Pick what's your favorites. Um, and that's obviously the way forward. Um, I'm going to talk to you a tiny bit about um, the emotion soil. So I'm just going to share part of this presentation just to show you a little bit on the emotion oils. Um, where is slideshow? I think it's over here. Slideshow. I don't know where slideshow is. Oh, there's slideshow. There you go. Right. So play from current slide. OK, so with the emotional oils, doTERRA has done a lot of the work for you. OK, so this is the really easy part. OK, doTERRA have produced six specific oils for emotional aromatherapy. They've gone in and they've worked out the um, like the emotion wheel that we've got. Um, they've worked it out for you. So they've created six different oils oh, one, one, two, one. six different oils to help you okay so these are you can buy them all individually and you can buy them as a set um these are set for as you look at the wheel so motivate is mint and citrus cheer is citrus and spices passion is spices and herbs forgive is herbs and trees console is trees and florals and pieces florals and mints okay so it crosses over two with each oil so you could look at this wheel which is freely, again, freely available. It's on doTERRA. We've got it. You can get it as well. Um, and you would be looking for worried. You could go to peace or console. If you were looking for distressed, you could go to motivate or cheer. Angry, you would look at um, forgive or passion. Um, so it would just depend which one you were looking at. So sad, you might go to forgive or console example. OK, so it's really good. They've worked them out for you. That's what it looks like as a set. These are aromatical and topical essential oils only. They're not for internal use, these ones. Um, so you have the motivate. So motivate, as it says, helps promote feelings of confidence, courage and belief. Motivate is a motivational oil. It's really good. I like to use it um, in the mornings or if I need a pick me up. It is your mints and citruses. It smells amazing. It's really good for concentration. Um, I love it in a roller. Um, like we say, rollers take 20 seconds to reach one cell, 20 minutes to reach every cell. So get that roller on and double it double whammy it with aromatic so you can breathe it in put it somewhere where you can smell it all day put it on some lava rock jewelry that's also really good for you um, then we have cheer cheer promotes warming uplifting feelings to help brighten and invigorate your mood um, passion rejuvenating inspiring feelings when helping to dispel boredom or lack of purpose now i love passion um helen's going to be talking about um your um, women's health and hormones passion is one of my favorites for my hormones it I love the smell of it it works well for me it's known as the inspiring blend and it does that for me um, this uh, forgive is a blend used for trees and herb essential oils to help encourage feelings of peace and forgiveness when you are consumed by negative anger and guilt they've been chosen very well in their words um, console renewing comforting scent of the blend will help um, purpose too late i can't even read today feelings of hope dispel feelings of sadness disappointment or grief and um, peace is feeling worried fearful or unsettled i really like peace for sleep actually as well i find peace really really calming and that's because it's got that lavender and the vetiver in there that really help to calm so you can get them as touch rollers as well okay so they are those oh, let's ignore that um some other oils that i really want to touch on um, would be oils that doTERRA look for blends 
oils doTERRA have done the work for you. OK, so there is lots of blends out there, but some of the basics are balance. Balance has been made to ground our emotions. It's been made for that specific reason to um, to balance what's going on in our lives. It's a very big stable in our house. It's one very big one that I use for additional needs. And again, it's one that um, we very heavily rely on. So do have a if you haven't tried balance, um, do come and try balance. Um, and another oil would be adaptive. Now, adaptive has been made for adapting. OK, it's been made for that reason to help people adapt from one situation to a next, to a next, to a next. So um, adaptive is another one that you can automatically go to. So like I said, we could list mountains of oils, but it's really not that important. The actual importance of emotions is understanding how it can help change your mindset. So understanding the olfactory system and the limbic system in your brain, understanding that part to, to the fact that your emotions can change just by breathing something and calming down, doing meditative breathing, you can make a huge difference in your emotional journey. Um, so like I say, I'm trying to keep it relatively short, so I'm not going to go on and on and on, um, but they are my emotional tips. Um, highly recommend, like I say, if you need some help, get a book. Um, really, really important. If you are an existing customer here, please get a book because they are really help to explain each oil. We are here as much as we can to teach you all the continued education, but massively you can get a book. There is an app that you can get for the emotions um, and essential oils. There is an app you can get as well as, and it wasn't particularly expensive um, and as well as the books. Um, so there is ways and means always of getting books, but do um, you, look after yourself look after your mental health because it is important to start with you particularly if you're in any form of caring profession if you're a carer you're a you're a parent you know you've got elderly parents that you're looking after if you don't look after your emotional health then you're not going to be in any state to look after anybody else and um, so it's really important that you do simple things um, for yourself there is some things that you can take internally for emotions and that would be, I would recommend taking um, frankincense and copaiba are the two oils that I would highly recommend taking internally. Um, I think we're going to cover a lot more on copaiba and things this week, but copaiba is um, similar to CBD oil, but it works on your CB2 receptors in your body, not the CB1. CB1 receptors control the um, psychogenic effect. It, they're mostly found in your brain. It's things like CBD oil and cannabis work on CB1 receptors. Can, um, the um, copaiba works on CB2 receptors, um, and that is they're found in the inflammation cells and in the immune system. So they actually work on the inflammation of the body, um, but they're really good at working on an emotional level in the body as well. So um, they're ones highly, again, we use a lot in my um, additional needs classes. Um, so highly recommend taking copaiba internally um, as with frankincense as well. Frankincense is a healer. It's the king of all oils. It makes any other oil that you take, it makes it better. Um, it's one that will cross the blood brain barrier. It's really important getting frankincense into your body. Um, so copaiba and frankincense internally. And of course you can take things like your oranges and things in your water, take them internally as well. They are so good for your body. Um, the next step would be supplementation, which I'm not gonna cover in here, but we do have things like lifelong vitality. Um, if you actually start looking after your body, your mind will also follow um, and you can take lifelong vitality. Um, we're gonna cover more supplements, I think this evening with Helen, um, phytoestrogens and things like that are also really good. Um, so I'm not gonna go on. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed that. If there's any questions, feel free to pop them into the comments. I can see two comments. I'm just going to check that there's, that's fine. Um, make sure there's nothing else on there. If you have any comments about um, emotions and you want to learn a little bit more about emotions, then do give one of us a shout and we will answer the questions for you. But just before we go, let's have another few breaths of um, Wild Orange. And when you sip it in, you really do feel like you're drinking it. It's amazing. Um, so that is um, my presentation for this over. Um, feel free to give us a shout if you want anything. See you later. <laughs>